Hi everybody, it's Charles again with an entry for the 13th of May. It was a Tuesday. Um, basically in this entry I'm just going to talk about favorites. Um, I'm not specifically going to talk about my favorites. Obviously I have favorites. There are a lot of favorites to have, you know. Color, you know, video game, movie, you know, book, that kind of stuff. There's a whole list of favorites, you know. Every, obviously pretty much every, you know, area of life has a favorite. I mean, you could do like gardening, your favorite flower, your favorite tree, your favorite plant, you know, even if you like bugs, you know, your favorite ants, you know, your favorite, you know, fly, your favorite winged, you know, creature, yada, yada. But um, basically, you know, to me, I've always found it stupid. Actually, I haven't always found it stupid. That would be giving myself too much credit. But, um, you know, in the past, in recent years, I shall say, I found it stupid when people argue over favorites. Um, unfortunately, that happens a crap ton on the Internet, <laughs> in which I spend a lot of my time. But um, it happens, you know, amongst other groups, too. But, you know, it's stupid to argue over favorites. Because favorites are determined by, they're so abstractly determined. You know, just because something is a favorite of yours does not automatically mean that it's better, you know. I mean, at one point I really liked cookies and cream ice cream. Somebody else liked cookie dough, you know. That doesn't mean that cookies and cream is better than cookie dough. You know, I liked cookies and cream because, you know, my best friend at the time liked it and we used to eat it together and it used to make me think of, like, you know, happy times that we'd be hanging out. Um, I mean, my favorite ice cream changed. Does that mean that it changed to um, cookie dough for a little while? So does that mean that cookie dough just got fucking better? <laughs> it's miraculously like they added some new ingredients, they put more cookie dough in the ice cream and it just got better? No, it was just like, you know my tastes varied, you know, my opinion changed on it. And so I liked cookie dough, you know, I just, you know, I grew out of cookies and cream, I grew sick of it, you know, and then again it changed and it kept changing. I liked black raspberry for a while and my father started buying it and, you know, I liked to eat it with him and, you know, it would make me think of him. And so, you know, it, it changed throughout the years. I mean, now it's probably, I don't know. I mean, now with frozen yogurt and all of that, but I think it's maybe it's a cotton candy ice cream. I mean, I'm not even sure exactly which ice creams I can eat now because now that I have Wilson's disease, you know, a lot of that shit is taken off the table. Um, but, you know, to your taste wise, for a while now, for a little while now, it's probably been cotton candy ice cream. I mean, I'm not sure if I can still eat it. I have to check the ingredients next time I see it, but. That shit is good, you know. It's got it's got a little like sweetness to it that's kind of like, you know, it's unexpected and it does kind of, it doesn't it does kind of taste like cotton candy, but not like overpowering, so you get sick of it. Like if I if I have more than like, you know, four or five bites of cotton candy now, I'll get tired of it. But the cotton candy ice cream I can eat a lot of it. And um not get sick of it. So it's not overpowering overpoweringly cotton candy esque. But, you know, it still does kind of remind me of it and makes me think of the circus a little bit, and so I like it. Um, but, yeah, I mean, back to the topic. Favorites, like I just said, I explained some of my favorites on ice cream, and I explained why, I, why they were my favorites. You know, they weren't favorites because they were better, you know. So it's fucking stupid to argue about, you know, this book is better than this other book. You know, it just happens to... It just happens to be something that you like more for whatever abstract reason. You know, granted, you know, some books are <laughs> better than other books in terms of, like, you know, mass population. Like, I mean, if you were to ask somebody, you know, which book is more, like, you know, is, you know, more deeper and, you know, more, like, you know, more involved and stuff like that, and you would to list, and you were to list, like, you know, you know, a 200-year-old classic book versus, like, you know, some teen pop novel. I'm not going to list any names, but some teen pop novel, then a lot of people would just be like, dude, that, that book's been around for hundreds of years. It's a classic. You know, like, a lot of people have deemed it a good book. That's why it's a classic, and that's why it's been around for hundreds of years. How many years is this teen pop book going to be? I mean, people may enjoy it now, but is it going to last 200 years? Are people going to forget about it in, you know, two to three? So it's just like, maybe those books have been deemed, you know, 
better by like the general population or by a lot of people. But that even that when somebody says, you know, I prefer the teen pop book over, you know, the the classic, I mean that's that's their opinion. They're allowed to have that. I mean I'm not gonna try and argue them into submission. You know, I'm not gonna take like some kind of like metaphorically metaphorically like arm bar them and choke them out until they're just like the classic's better, the classic's better. <laughs> Because that would just be stupid, you know. I'm not going to argue about that shit until they tap out and maybe what? Then maybe I can win the argument that my book is, you know, better? What does that do to me, you know? Does that give me some kind of like, you know, fucking... Oh yeah, of course my shit's better. Does that improving... In an, in an argument over favorites, does me, does me being, you know, right... Is that, you know, does that do anything for me? Does that like make me, you know... Feel any better? Like, you know, in Jet Li, the one, it was a, <laughs> the shitty Jet Li movie, but it was about he used to travel to different dimensions and then he would kill the, the him of that dimension and then he would gain their power. So he started doing it to a lot of dimensions and then slowly he would become like a superhuman because he was gaining, like, you know, the Jet Li life force of world A and then Jet Li life force of world B. And he was just going down the line, and they were all going into him. So he was, you know, he was gaining the life force of many individual people, and it was all coming together into one, you know, body. But I mean, so if I, if I do that with like, if I win arguments like with random people and proving my favorite is the best, does that mean I get like some kind of like <laughs> life force into me? No, it doesn't. It's just. When people argue over favorites, it's basically them just wanting to prove to you that, you know, their opinion is correct and it's more valid. I mean, half the time when somebody argues with me over opinion, I just, you know, I just, fuck it, yeah, whatever the hell you want to think. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and argue for, you know, 20 minutes about, you know, why this Kurt Russell movie is better than that Kurt Russell movie, you know. <laughs> It makes no difference to me. If you want to believe that your your Kurt Russell movie is better, then fuck it, go ahead. You know, I'm just gonna, I might just, uh -huh, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, yeah, like, you know, Captain Tom or whatever the hell that was is better than the Backdraft movie. Backdraft movie, yeah, whatever you want to believe, you know, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> so, so half the times I'll just, you know, just agree to whatever the hell they want because I don't, it makes no difference to me. It's not going to change my opinion on, you know, which movie I prefer. I mean, if, if they go around touting it, then I don't really care. You know, if it makes them feel better, then, you know, they're shallow. And, <laughs> you know, it doesn't hold any effect. I mean, like, you know, I'm not going to, like, be denied a promotion because I, you know, stuck fast to which movie I liked, or I'm not going to be denied a promotion if I caved in and just admitted that their, and just, you know, said that their movie was better just because I wanted to end the argument. I mean, it holds no weight in real life. So, to me, to be arguing over favorites, because, you know, like I said, you know, maybe, maybe that person really likes the Captain Tom movie, or Captain Ron, I think it was, sorry. Captain Ron movie because you know they used to watch it with their best friends and so they watched it over and over and you know maybe you know it got to be dumb funny you know I, I see it as just dumb but that's, <laughs> that's another movie review um, but you know maybe so that's why they like it because it makes them it, you know subconsciously makes them think about good times with their friends and you know maybe the jokes were you know they used to make jokes about the jokes so the jokes when they hear the jokes subconsciously they think of like other jokes and that's why it's funny to them whereas with me you know I like backdraft because I feel like it was action-packed and it was a good story but I mean even then you know maybe that's because those are the types of movies that like or maybe you know it's a firefighting movie so maybe I've always you know wanted to be a firefighter and I wish I could be one but, um, so maybe that's, you know, maybe that's why I like the movie because, you know, I've always had held firefighters in high regard and, you know, subconsciously it makes me, you know, like idolize the job a little bit more and idolize, you know, the position a little bit more. So, I mean, it's just, it's, it's very, like I said, it's stupid to argue about favorites because, you know, there's no clear cut winner. Just arguing, you're in essence arguing to argue. I mean, you could go on for years and years about which book or which movie is better. I mean, 
you could probably even have day-long discussions about which ice cream flavor is better. So, I mean, it's pretty much, it's pretty much just, you know, unnecessary. But then again, you know, sometimes it's, it's fun to make lighthearted conversation. Like, I've been on dates before where I've just, you know, I've, <laughs> I've argued, you know, just kind of kidding about, you know, ice cream flavors just for the hell of it, you know, just to make small talk with somebody and, you know, to keep the mood lighthearted. I'm obviously not trying to, like, hash out, you know, why my flavor is better. It's just like, oh, come on, you like, you know, vanilla ice cream? Oh, forget that, you know. Black raspberry is where it's at or something like that. You know, just keeping it lighthearted. Obviously, I, you know, whoever I'm arguing with knows that, you know, I'm just, you know, making conversation, you know, and just doing it to be, you know, to be fun. I'm not, you know, legit trying to, like, break their will and their steadfast grip to their favorite, you know. <laughs> like they're holding on to like their favorite carton of ice cream and I'm just trying to like pry it out of their hands and just fucking, you know, like just no, let it go. Let it go. And they're just like hugging it and just no. <laughs> Obviously that's not the case. So it's just, you know you know, whenever I have an argument over, you know, favorites if I even ever do, I haven't recently, you know, it's just, it's kind of like, it's, it's just fun, it's kind of coy, you know, just small talk and stuff like that, it's not serious, so, but like I said, unfortunately, a lot of it's on the internet, you know, there's a, I, I like video games, and there's always a lot of, you know, which console is better, is it the Xbox, or is it the PlayStation? And so, of course, you get people who are just, you know, PlayStation sucks, Xbox rules. Or you get the alternate, you know, fucking Xbox sucks, PlayStation rules. And I remember one, you know, one form, I was like, and somebody, it was like a heated debate going on and on. Somebody was like, dude, <laughs> there's no clear winner. It just depends upon which games you like. <laughs> you know, obviously, this system has some of these exclusives. This one has some of these as exclusives, and you know it. You know, some you know. Some of the games are on both systems, so that doesn't even fucking really matter. So I mean, it just depends upon like you know how good the games are for that system. Obviously, if on system A, you know, there's a fifty percent decrease in game quality, you know, then maybe get you know maybe system B is a little bit better. But so those are hard facts, you know. But obviously, if maybe you like, you know, the lower graphics because they're more cartoony or something, or you like the blurred vision a little bit more in game system A, in which case, you know, those games are your favorites, even if they're of lower quality. So, I mean, it's just, you don't know why somebody's favorite is a favorite. I mean, obviously, some people just argue favorites on what they have. Like, there are people who argue for game system A because that's what they have and they don't have system B. I mean, who knows why they have A, by the way. Sometimes, you know, your grandparent just picks one randomly and gets you that for your birthday or something. Or maybe, you know, you read magazines and that's the one that you figured was the best. So, I mean, obviously, if you pick that one, you've got a little bit more, you know, you know, weight and arguing for it rather than, you know, your grandma just grabbed one from, you know, the store and just gave it to you. Um, but no matter what, if that's the one that you have, there's still weight behind it because you want, you know, you want what you have to be, you know, right, and you want what you have to be best. Nobody wants to say, yeah, I'm, I've got, you know, a shitty system. Everybody else is having the time of their life. I'm playing fucking, you know, crappy games over here. That's unfortunate. That's a pessimistic view, and it's an it's a too adult view for a lot of these people. You know, it's very very adult to be like, yeah, I made a bad choice. You know, or I have the wrong thing, and I wish I had that other thing. And you know, I wish I had done more research. Yada yada. It's very that's a very you know like adult and mature thing to do, and unfortunately, a lot of people don't you know aren't capable of that or aren't capable of that in specific situations. I mean, there are situations where I don't like to admit that I'm wrong, or that I have, you know, the worst thing. So, I'm not going to come out here and say that, you know, they're dumb, or they're stupid, or they're immature. I mean, it's a lot of times it's tough to admit that, you know, you were wrong, or you made a bad decision. 
I mean, even now, I don't like to, you know, I don't like to take a back seat at work because I still want to consider myself, you know, a go-getter, you know. I want to consider myself aggressive and, you know, big and intimidating, but, you know, obviously, I'm get, I'm, I think I'm slowing down in all, like, you know, all honesty, I mean, it, it sucks because I feel like it's from Wilson's, but I'll get into that in a different video, but I don't, that is something that is extremely hard for me to admit to myself. Extremely hard. And um, I don't want to make this another Wilson's disease video. But um, it's just admitting to yourself that maybe, you know, you're not the pro or what you have is not, you know, number one. For whatever reason, I, it's just, it's very difficult. You know, if I buy a car, I'm going to do a shitload of research. And, you know, I'm going to try and buy the best car that I can afford. But then somebody comes down with, you know, a better car. I'm just going to be like, holy shit, dude, fucking my car is better because, you know, <laughs> you know, fucking we got the bucket seats or some shit like that. But in all, re all actuality, maybe that other car is just way better and maybe I should have gotten that one. But I'm not going to want to admit it to myself because, you know, I want, I'm going to want to keep the perception of my car being the best car. But in all... In all actuality, it might not be the best car, and you know, maybe I'm just clinging to clinging to it as my favorite because it's the one that I own, and I want you know, I want to keep my car in my head is the best car because it'll make me feel better about my car, you know. But like I said, who knows why people are clinging to their favorites? Who knows why people you know love the things that they do? You know, obviously when you with loving people, it's a little bit different. It, you know, if you if you marry somebody, you know, maybe they're your they could be considered, I guess, your favorite like girlfriend or something like that. But that's a whole another ball game. I mean, yes, they are like, you know, maybe they're you know, you had the best conversations with them. You know, like your favorite conversations were with that person. You know, your favorite dates were with that person. So that's probably true, but, you know, there's just so, so much gray area when it comes to, you know, dating. <laughs> when it comes to, you know, favoriting a person that, you know, you can't really explain it in the same terms. I mean, you can in the base of it. You know, hopefully the person that you do marry, you know, whether they be fucking, whether you're straight or homosexual, are your favorite person, you know. It sucks when, you know, you lose the love of your life for whatever reason, and then you have to go with... Unfortunately, you have to go with somebody who doesn't, you know, maybe you don't love in the same, with the same depth. I mean, um, a lot of, unfortunately, a lot of widowers and, you know, people like that, you know, they're married for 20 years and then, you know, somebody gets killed in a freak accident and then, they, you know, they marry somebody else for like a little bit later in life. And, you know, you can tell that they're not the love of their life, but, you know, it's, they make them happy again and, you know, they help them out and they help them with their struggles through life. But so I mean that's a little <laughs> it's a little pessimistic and I mean I don't want to shit any weight on any weight term relationships. But I mean it sucks when it sucks when unexpected and you know catastrophic shit happens that messes up your life. But this is a fucking entry about favorites and I think I've pretty much explained my ideas on favorites. I mean maybe in a different video I'll actually get into my favorites. Um, but yeah, I mean, one of the, one of the stupidest, stupidest, um, arguments is an argument on which color is better. <laughs> so, I mean, don't argue with me that, you know, blue is a better color than black or, you know, that fucking black is a better color than blue, you know, because I'm just going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? They're colors and, you know you like them for some weird reason and I like mine for or you like yours for some weird reason I like mine for some weird reason but no color like is better than a different color no color just like you know makes a life better like if I wear a blue shirt my life isn't better <laughs> than if I wear a white shirt so it doesn't make like colors are just pre pure preference you know, they have no, you know, weight to them. So fucking, you know, if you argue with me about something like that, I'm just going to fucking snooze through it. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that doesn't mean, you know, I'm too good to talk to you about different colors. I mean, I just, I won't, you know, <laughs> I'll just do it in a, you know, chiding, kitty way. I'm not going to, you know, have like a widget, you know, like hashing out, you know, like sitting in like a diner, just like, no, it's like slamming my fist on the table, trying to hash out why orange is a shitty color. It's, <laughs> it's not something that I'm re legit, like really going to do. But, um, I don't know. Anyways, you've know, you've heard my thoughts and favorites. Thanks for listening. If you want to get in contact with me, you know what to do. See you tonight.